Hello, my name is Ian Fryer. I'm the Engineering Director for RMD Quickform UK. You're joining me today on the Cliffs End Underpass project in Kent, where there's some innovative engineering going on with formwork to enable the casting of a box culvert that's going to be pushed beneath the railway line in a few weeks' time. This project is being delivered by a Volker Fitzpatrick Hockteef joint venture with specialist contractor Cyan Formwork. Come with me and we'll go and look at some of the details that RMD Quickform engineers have incorporated to make the construction of this project run smoothly and on time. The underpass is cast in six discrete sections. Each of them weighs around two and a half thousand tonnes. I'm standing now under one of the completed sections. And you can see the quality of finish that the RMD Quickform plywood has produced. I'd like to take you now underneath the false work which has been used to cast these tunnel segments so that you can see some of the innovative engineering that we've produced to make this project possible. The first thing that's unusual about this false work is that once the tunnel segment has been cast, it doesn't actually get struck and removed from underneath the soffit. The entire 2,500 ton tunnel segment gets lifted on hydraulic jacks off the false work and then slid into position adjacent to its neighbours further along. In order that the tunnel segment can be physically lifted off the force work and formwork, the internal formwork to these walls here has to be capable of being hinged backwards. In order to do that, RMB Quickform engineers have come up with a special unit up here which enables not only the chamfer to be cast in the side of the tunnel, but also once the formwork ties have been removed, the whole of this formwork section to be hinged in in order to create clearance so that the tunnel segment can be lifted and slid off the top of the force work. Underneath the downstand beam, there's a slide path through on which the tunnel segment will be slid once it's launched into the next position. And either side of the slide path is a section of RMD Quickform soffit which has to support the weight of the downstand beam that's on this side. Once it's time to strike the formwork, these jacks can be simply removed and this section of soffit can hinge down slightly, which enables then the formwork to be hinged back so that there's the minimum amount of dismantling required down here with each use. That reduces the amount of manual handling required when you're reusing the equipment again and again and again, which is a tremendous benefit to health and safety on the job. The outside shutters on these tunnel segments are made up from RMD Quickform Super Slim Soldiers, Alform Beams and Premium Film Form Ply on the inside here. That's what's giving the good finish for these tunnel segments. The shutters are working hard in terms of design because they are used 20 mm form ties. Each of these can carry 160 kilonewtons of form pressure. The advantage that that brings is that you get the minimum number of ties over the form panel. So the time to remove and replace the form ties with each reuse is brought down to the absolute minimum. The force work is further complicated by the fact that access was needed through the force work at all stages during the construction. And in order to accommodate access, RMB Quickform engineers have used standard equipment to build this five metre wide access for vehicles which can be used at any time during the construction. Hello there, I'm Lawrence McConnell from Cyan Formwork. I'm the structures supervisor on the Cliffs End underpass site down at Sandwich in Kent. Behind me is uh, the steel fixers prefabricating the cages that go into the deck sections which will then be pushed into the ground to form the tunnel under the railway. But the first step really is, is putting the deck together again. These sections will then be lifted up onto the deck, put into place where we will then be pouring the concrete to around about a thousand cubic metres of concrete in each section. There's six sections to cast which are then slid off and slid through the ground to form the tunnel. Right, you can see here now this is a, a finished section um, that has been moved off of the false work. Um, th this is the ram that they move it with. It's, it's lifted around about 100 mil, 70 to 100 mil, and then it is just slid along at a rate of about 15 meters an hour. Here we see the the jacking system which is done by a firm called Mammoots and what happens is this this is the the jacks themselves they're powered by 
hydraulics and what they do is come up and they will lift this deck right off and then what happens then is this ram pushes the deck along using there's just a box section of metal fits in there that goes through when that hole lines up with that it will go through that hole and that hole and that's what they push off of Here we are in one of the two advanced board tunnels beneath the railway embankment. The live railway line runs a few metres above my head here. Within the confines of this tunnel, the permanent works piles have been installed beneath my feet. Shortly the slide tracks will be placed on top of these and then in a few weeks time the whole completed structure is going to be gradually jacked through this embankment forming a brand new box culvert underneath the railway line.